What's up guys, this is Billy coming to you guys with a brand new video. Um, before I get into this, uh, I just want to say that the new Bahama Mama G Fuel review will be up tomorrow. I'm getting it in the mail Monday. Um, so if you're wondering what day it will be uploaded, it will be uploaded tomorrow, Monday, when I receive it in the mail. The taste test, I'm super pumped to test that flavor. So all you G Fuel guys out there, look out for that review tomorrow. Uh, anyway, man. Okay, so story time. Um, I've been trying to fix this issue for like three weeks, four weeks now, um, with my PC randomly freezing up and then popping up into a blue screen. Um, and it, the most known error would be critical process has died. Um, that's the error that would always pop up. Sometimes it'd be something different, but it's usually critical process has died. I'm not saying that this will work for you guys. It worked for me. So don't give me any shit if it didn't work for you. I'm sorry, but I was surprised that this actually worked for me and it fixed my issue. Now I'm just going to run through a few of the things that I myself have tried already. I have tried to reinstall Windows twice. I tried reinstalling Windows twice, did not solve the issue. Unplugging any USD, USB devices that could cause it except my mouse and keyboard. I started thinking it was my mouse doing it. So I unplug that, still thing. It would blue screen every every so often at random times too. Uh, uninstalling Windows updates that I had prior installed had no effect. Uh, downloading and installing device drivers for all of my peripherals because I looked it up and the most common thing I found on the forums is people saying that it's a driver issue and you need to update your, your Windows drivers in order to fix it. Did not solve my issue whatsoever. Um, I also tried uh, turning on and off my CPU and GPU overclocks. Uh, little did I know, uh, it had absolutely nothing to do with my problem. I updated my BIOS, didn't do anything. Uh, I did a scan for malware and viruses. Uh, I had none on my computer, so that didn't do anything. Um, turning off Windows Defender or any antivirus that I had on my system, no, it didn't do anything. So I was thinking about it. Like I was at wit's end, guys. I didn't know. I, I thought like one of my uh, hard drives was failing or something or I don't know, like loose cables. So like I even tried like switching SATA cables, nothing, nothing was working. And every so often, like my computer, like I would just be watching a live stream, not even doing anything taxing. And all of the sudden my system would just freeze up and like not do anything and then automatically hit to uh, critical process has died. So what fixed my problem, which could fix your problem, um, give you guys a little insight here. I'll bring up my display capture. Here we go. And we'll shrink down my webcam. Okay, sorry about that. Um, now that I'm here, let's just put this full screen so you can see what I'm talking about. I have a plug plugged into my computer. It's a triple outlet extension cord, not this exact one, but is the pretty much the exact same thing. This is going into my wall to, re to like pretty much extend where my computer plugs into. And I had my computer plugged into this socket right here in the center. Um, now if I remember correctly, when I first got this computer and I booted it up, Every time I restarted it, it would boot up twice. It would boot up, turn off, and then boot up again regularly. No problems. So I figured it was just normal. Some people, some PCs do that. And um, so I didn't really think anything of it. And then I got the idea of switching out my power supply cable. That really didn't do anything. It was up until I unplugged my power supply cable from here. And plugged it into a different port on here where fixed my problem completely. I stopped blue screening. I, I Everything that I did was like not working except this. Literally all I did was switch the outlet that it was plugged into and it solved my problem. I stopped blue screening. My PC booted once and that was it. It didn't boot, turn off, and then boot again complete and then be fine. It, it, that solved my whole issue. My whole issue was down to an extension cord for a month. My problem with blue screens had nothing to do with drivers, nothing to do with overclocks, nothing to do with any of that stuff. It was down to what I had my computer plugged into. So give it a try. Try a new outlet. 
maybe maybe this will solve your issue. It solved my issue. Like I said, don't 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 get on my case if it didn't solve your problem. This is what solved my problem for my critical process dying. And uh, it's something so simple. All I had to do is switch a plug. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty embarrassed that I didn't try this in the first place. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this helped you. Click that like button for me. Share this around with your friends. If they're having any blue screen issues. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.